So in my last two videos, I talked about some of the unrecognized benefits and training effects that you get from Olympic lifting. If you haven't seen those two, I recommend you go check them out. But to advance the discussion, the Olympic lifts provide a ton of exercise variation. At some point when you're running through a training program, the law of accommodation will kick in. Accommodation just states that the rate of adaptation will slow down over the course of a repeated stimulus over an extended period of time. Meaning you can't just do the same two, three, or even four exercises over and over again and continue to progress long term. And sometimes the most potent stimulus you get comes from novelty and variation. Now, like I said in the last couple of videos, loaded jumps are the most common substitutes for the Olympic lifts. So if you're only doing loaded jumps, you're limited by movement variations and you're limited by loading options. Outside of dumbbells, trap bars, and putting a barbell on your back, there's not many practical ways to load a jump. So overall, you're just limited in your exercise selection options. If you know how to do the full Olympic lifts, variation will never be an issue. If you learn how to do a full clean and a full snatch, you more than likely have the ability to do all of their variants. Power clean, power snatch, hang variations from below the knee, above the knee, high hip, cleaner snatch from the blocks, cleaner snatch high pulls, pulls from the floor, jump shrugs, pause variation, and tempo variations. And since loaded jumps like a barbell jump or a trap bar jump require almost zero technical practice, you're literally just jumping, you can always include those into a program whenever you want for someone that knows how to do the Olympic lifts. But the opposite is not true. If you don't know how to do the Olympic lifts and all you do is the loaded jumps, you you can't just throw clean and snatch variations into a program at any time. So I've talked about the importance of exercise variation before. Go check that video out if you haven't seen that one already. And so if you do know how to do all the Olympic lifts, variation is never going to be a problem. If you don't know how to do the Olympic lifts, variation might be a problem. If you find my videos useful or helpful in any way, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button on this. It helps me out tremendously. And leave a comment below if you have a different take or another idea so we can continue the discussion. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.